so Nagaro selection 2022 so recently I have paired for Nagaro so I'm a dotnet developer with four years of experience so uh, recently I've been selected for Nagaro Noida location so I'll be telling you all the phases I've been through the selection process and first round is there there is a machine round of 90 minutes so here in this we will get a questions on aptitude questions on coding there are two questions uh, one is based on string and one is based on array so just brush up your basic knowledge of string and array and then there are 40 questions on your profile like if you are a .NET developer then there will be questions on your .NET development so uh, the questions were uh, really matching to the task we are doing as a .NET developer so if you have really uh, worked on the technology then there will be no difficulties in answering to these questions and then aptitude is like uh, we can uh, practice it from this uh, various sites like there is a site uh, geeks of geeks and uh, there is also a site india bix from uh, where we can practice on aptitude and if you have if you are an engineer and you have uh, practiced on the placement part on the uh, last year then then you will not find it very hard to clear this round so it will be a mix of all the three uh, parts and the there is a no negative marking so basically it is all mcq so you can also have a guess and if you are lucky then you are obviously get selected so uh, there is a, a time limit of uh, one hour 30 minutes and I don't think that it is like any kind of uh, less and it is a really good uh, timing not uh, bad not like uh, that it is tough then uh, there is a round two and obviously I got uh, selected in the machine round so if you are selected then you will get an email that uh, you are selected and uh, we will contact you for the next two or more round in two uh, days so after two days I was contacted for the round two and the recruiter asked me my preferable time in which I can uh, provide it uh, ready for the interview. So uh, round two was a technical round. So all the uh, in this uh, the uh, there was a uh, person who was taking my interview. So in this uh, round, uh, first he gave me his introduction, and he was having eleven of year of experience then he asked me for uh, my introduction and uh, basically in the introduction things they just want to know that how many year of experience we are having and which all the technologies we are, have worked and what all the technologies we are working currently and what type of client and what type of project and what type of day-to-day -day activities then uh, in the job description JD you can find uh, the uh, things that are required for the profile so based on the topics uh, provided on the job description I uh, prepared myself and um, and uh, in the interview uh, it was technical one so uh, it was like uh, he was asking a uh, deep concept it is not like we are just mugging up the things we should uh, know the practical scenarios if we even if you are talking about oops then basic question uh, is like difference between interface and classes so everywhere they will ask uh, when to use interface when to use abstract class so uh, why game interface when we have abstract class and uh, difference between abstraction encapsulation 
so uh, and all the four pillars of oops method overloading overriding so they will just confuse you by uh, asking things like uh, will this work or will this not work so uh, you have to just be prepared and uh, try to uh, implement these concepts so that they will uh, not let you go confused and uh, you can be sure of your answer so and uh, then there was question on based on the technologies i have worked on like mvc they have asked questions and like web api they have asked questions and like multi threading it was written on the job description so uh, there was a question on multi threading and there was questions on sql server so these are all the basic question uh, that the, uh, you have to answer and once uh, you are uh, ready for giving the interviews and job change then i suggest you to first start uh, giving uh, interviews in the small companies because uh, you don't want to lose a chance in uh, such big company like nagaro so first brush up the things in the uh, small small companies and then go for go be prepared when uh, you give on continuous interview then uh, you will get to know the what kind of questions are trending uh, in your time period when you are giving interview so obviously uh, the person was having 11 year of experience so he will have lots of uh, knowledge than you so he will also he will definitely ask you in depth knowledge uh, answers so so after this round i was like uh, 80% uh, not sure uh, whether i will be selected and 20% i was thinking that i will be selected but i think that he was having 11 year of experience so maybe he was convinced uh, by my answer as i was having 4 uh, year of experience so as we just uh, having more and more experience then our knowledge also uh, should improve and they are expecting the things based on our experience so i got cleared this round so then uh, there was a, like they called me for a round 3 so round 3 is basically managerial round so there also uh, they ask you technical question but the level is not that level every topic they will ask you basic questions and not detail answer just they want if you know or not know the answers and it was like i have cleared one machine round and then one technical round so uh, this round was a piece of cake and uh, the manager was also not very uh, strict in asking the questions because i had cleared two uh, rounds so in this uh, like he also asked some scenario questions like if your project is having the deadline what will you do in that things and how you provide task estimates so as a developer you should know uh, how much uh, time it has taken and, and i know everyone follows the azure devops so in this you have to follow scrum agile so they will ask uh, things like how in the your team Uh, you are roles and responsibility how you perform the things how you collaborate with the team and how your scrum call take place and all these questions and and uh, as i was uh, as being a developer we all become full stack one so uh, asking questions on every technologies we have worked and based on that so uh, that is how i cleared around 3 also and then there was a hr discussion in this uh, they were asking basic uh, questions like uh, who are you how many members in your family and and like that uh, uh, what is your ctc current and what is your expected and i must suggest to you those are having uh, less packages so this is your opportunity and you can uh, really ask for 100% or more hike if you are having an offer letter so it is not uh, very tough for you so basically 
start preparing uh, one month before when you are trying to switch a job so that you will have more chances uh, to access many companies first small one then uh, these big company are waiting for you and obviously you will get selected and hope you best for your future bye bye guys